So, um, ladies and gentlemen, for this problem, we have a cubed minus 64 divided by a minus 4. So to do this by synthetic division, remember there's a couple of important steps. First of all, def def we create, by synthetic division, we kind of create this little L box. All right. Now, what we're going to use as our divisor, we're actually going to use the 0. So what we need to do is make sure that we solve this for 0. All right. So you're going to take your factor with your divisor, and you're going to solve for 0. So therefore, by adding 4 to both sides, you can now say that a equals 4. And that's what we're going to use for our synthetic division. All right. Now, the next part is we need to arrange these as their coefficients. But what you guys notice is we only have a cubed. We don't have an a squared. We don't have an a. right? And then we have a constant. So we need to make sure we have to include our place values. In long division, I, didn't, you know, I said, hey, it's nice to do it, but you don't have to do it. In synthetic division, you have to include the place values. So what we do is we have 1, because that's the coefficient of a cubed. Then we have 0, 0, negative 64. So this would be like a cubed plus a squared, or sorry, plus 0a squared plus 0a minus 64. So does everybody see how I put in those values? OK. So then when applying synthetic division, all you guys are going to simply do is remember the first one's kind of like a freebie. So the first one you bring all the way down, which is 1. Then diagonally we multiply, vertically we add. So 1 times 4 is? Thank you for the peanut gallery. <laughs> Vertically, 0 plus 4 is? 4. 4, four times 4 is? 16. 16. <laughs> 0 plus 16 is 16. 16 times 4 is? 64. Positive 64. <laughs> then we have 0. Now, from this point, we need to make sure how we can write our answer. So remember, the last value is always going to be our remainder. Which in this case, we have a remainder of 0, meaning that our divisor, a minus 4, evenly divides. Our divisor evenly divides into our dividend. Say it one more time. Our divisor <laughs> evenly divides into our dividend, because we have a remainder of 0. Then we have this is our constant, our linear, and our quadratic. So therefore, the final answer, this divides into this, is going to provide you with x squared plus 4x plus 16. Okay. Uh, yes, we're definitely dealing with a's, not x's. Thank you. a squared plus 4a plus 16. There you go. Yes.